Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryony and I am one half of Incest Breeders. Today I'm here to unbox for you the March Threads of Fate fairy loot box. I'm very excited to read this. I was hoping to have read this book this month, but I've not done so. Excited to see what fairy loot have done to adapt it. Can't really remember what fandoms were included, but looking forward to it. So the first item I picked up are these Threads of Fate playing cards and it says the card deck features character artwork from four stories the artwork on the diamonds is from the six crimson cranes on the spades is from jade fire gold on the clubs is from only a monster and the hearts is from daughter of the moon goddess so these are all inspired by fairy loot exclusive books won't open them up now but i'm very excited too i think they're going to be really really pretty apparently the artwork is by naivu the next item is this cushion cover it's inspired by Ray Bearer and it's designed by Blanca Design and it says the cushion cover inspired by Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifweko features one of the most inspiring quotes from the book and it will be a great addition to your home decor. I love the colours of this, it definitely suits the book. It says that only one thing is more powerful than a wish and that is a purpose. I like that quote, I've been meaning to read this for a while, I did really enjoy Ray Bearer, I've just not got around to this. So I'm very excited to have this to like cuddle with when I get to it. And on the back it's the same sort of design uh, with leaves, flowers and some gem based drawings they look like. And the same sort of pink, purple, blue, green colours. Then we have this uh, say wood mark which is a wooden bookmark designed by Avondale Art and it looks like that so it's got Cersei with her lion whose name I can't remember but that lion he said, it's high time you revisit an old favourite, a wooden bookmark. This one is inspired by Madeline Miller. You can never go wrong with a bookmark and that's a really fun way to make one actually. I love the kind of orange and the like little details of the flowers. Very nice. Then we have a sticker sheet which is designed by Viva and it's inspired by the Raven Cycle. So it's got the four, girl, four girls, four guys and a girl. And it says this sticker set is inspired by the Raven Cycle by Magus de Varta and is perfect for adding a bookish touch to your laptop, water bottle, phone or notebook. Now I didn't love the Raven Cycle, I don't think it's bad, I just don't think I got on with the audiobook narrator so I may not be sticking these to anything I own but I do like the artwork, I'm sure someone who loves the series would love these. The tarot cards of the month I'm going to include before the final item. It says this is the beginning of our new collectible Celestial Tarot deck. The items are illustrated by the amazing Arts28 and feature Xing Yun as the Fool and Wenzi as the Magician, both from Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Again, a previously included, I think it may have even been last month's um, book. So those are the two main characters. It really like suits the artwork, I think, of the American, but also just the general kind of artwork that has gone with the series. On the back, it has like black celestial theme instead. I just really like that. I love the kind of flowers on there. They're really pretty. And then the final item is this Threads of Fate tin designed by Chatty Nora. It's blue and pink and kind of pastel-y. It's got a flower on the top. It says this beautiful pastel tea tin is inspired by our featured book of the month which is waiting for you at the bottom of the box. So it doesn't say what it is but the quote says don't chase fate, let fate chase you. So obviously I want to talk about the book because that's what I'm excited for because like I said it's already really really pretty so I don't know what they're going to do to make it look even more pretty. So the book of the month this month is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. This is a more pinky, like almost more like a vibrant colour. The normal one is more pastel. I'll try and put a picture up. But I really like that too. I love the, I just, oh, I really like it anyway. And then down the sprayed edges at the top and at the bottom are just a blue. Down here is a dragon. I didn't know I wanted a dragon on my sprayed edges until it's here, but I'm so excited for it. Underneath the dust jacket down here on the spine, it's kind of a bit more, almost textured, patterned. And then on here, again, it is like the dragon with a girl. I assume that's the main character really really like that on the end pages the same sort of design as on the front cover is carried over so it's got like the pinky purpley blue looking over a city 
and then on the back it has like a more muted kind of greeny bluey purple of two people on a lake. I'll be honest I can't entirely remember what this is about so we're gonna read the blurb together. I think it's inspired by Korean mythology but I could be wrong I'm sure we'll find out in a minute. Speaking of inspired by Korean mythology I think all these items actually are inspired by mythology but they've just like not mentioned that. So, deadly storms and ancient curse, will her sacrifice save them all? For generations, deadly storms have ravaged Mina's homeland. Her people believe the sea god, once their protector, now cursed them with death and despair. To appease him, each year a maiden is thrown into the sea in the hopes that one day the true bride will be chosen and end the suffering. Many believe Shim Chong, Mina's brother's beloved, to be the legendary true bride. But on the night Chong is to be sacrificed, Mina's brother follows her, knowing that to interfere is a death sentence. To save her brother, Mina throws herself into the water in Chong's step. Swept away to the spirit realm, a magical city of lesser gods and mythical beasts, Mina finds the sea god trapped in an enchanted sleep. With the help of a mysterious young man and a motley crew of demons, gods and spirits, Mina sets out to wake him and bring an end to the storms once and for all. But she doesn't have much time. A human cannot live long in the land of the spirits, and there are those who would do anything to keep the sea god from waking it. The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea is a magical feminist retelling of a classic Korean legend, perfect for fans of Uprooted and Miyazaka's Spirit Away. So excited to read that. Like I said, I was hoping to squeeze it in in March, I think to be honest, also in February. So I'll definitely get to it in April with the read along, I think. Also included is this artwork, which is the same as is on the like naked hardcover, just coloured. I really like that. I'm so pleased with the box. Um, I just I think it's really really pretty it's like I said didn't know what I was expecting but happy to be surprised by it let me know down in the comments if you've read this or if you are also hoping to read it let me know if you prefer the colours of the original or this one because I'd be interested to know I think I possibly prefer the pastel of the original but I really like the hardback of this give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in another video